how you doing? So if you've got a Ford truck SUV type of thing, where you got the V8 4.6 liter, and you got code PO401, that's like EGR insufficient flow. I'm gonna show you uh, something to check for that you could probably just clean out and possibly get rid of your code for free. Alright, with your car started, you got code PO401 and it says EGR uh, insufficient flow detected. There's a few different things that could be wrong, but a very common thing for these motors is they get a buildup within the intake or the that feeds to the EGR system. And if you clean out that intake, you can possibly get rid of that code. Alright, here's your motor. 4.6 liter Triton V8 Ford. Lovely Ford. Anyways, right here in the back of the intake is your EGR valve. EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. Basically, it's a equipment that these manufacturers use to help with emissions. It takes some of your burned exhaust gases and recycles it into your engine so you can burn some burn your old exhaust gases along with new clean air. Just makes it more uh, emissions efficient. Yes. So. Your EGR system consists of the EGR valve itself. You have the tube that goes down into the rest of the exhaust system, and sometimes those clog up. Other possible causes could be these two solenoids that are involved with the EGR process could also go wrong. Or what I'm gonna show you is if you take part of the intake off, you could just clean it out and possibly um, reset your codes. Three tens of hard wood plastic sealed up. We're gonna take the rest of the air intake system off, and basically we're gonna take the back of the spinster off. Okay, or back of the intake off. All right, go ahead and start unplugging stuff. Got your math out of the way. We're gonna pull this intake off. Take that off. Let me get it real quick. Push up from the side. Yep. Just remember where these go to. Come on the side of the intake. Pull them off. Victory. What's next? We're going to go ahead and take the throttle body off. Okay. Next thing now is you gotta take the EGR off. So there's a 10 here and a 10 on the other side. Go ahead and remove that. Take another hose off the back. That goes to your brake booster. Next hose is uh, this one right here. You see that handy dandy uh, flathead? Yeah. Oh, all right. Now what? One more back, but that'll come out when we pull it. So we're going to take this intake off. Eight pieces. Or okay. eight millimeters. Does she fit? Fits the animal with it. So once everything is unplugged, well, you just pull it off. We're gonna pull that too. Pull it off. Got a little hose up there. Pull Some more hose. hose. Easy rage. Huh. Need a screwdriver? Or a screwdriver, that's actually a better idea. Alright. So the spot that tends to Right up most it's hard to see but these two holes right here feed down into the egr so show me the way it sits on the engine it sits like this okay egr is right here on i this see side. that these and the down. holes are the ones that come that way and a lot of times these get kicked up so okay you want to just take brake cleaner yep you could take like the back end of a coat hanger and just stick it and kind of feed it through them okay clean. and that's what we're going to do 
All right, so we're gonna clean out the EGR ports. Sometimes it's good to just get like a little, little wire and just kind of stick it through. Some sort of pick. Just break up whatever's in there. Okay. And then lots of brake clean. So you can already see how dirty that oh, is. Oh, nice. Out. It's pretty good. You're using a brake cleaner? Yeah, using a brake cleaner. Okay. You just want to clear out these ports. Now everything that's sitting in here, just clear it out while it's out. All the different ports, clean them out. Fucking solid. Ew. Wait, do that again? The Look at that water coming out, or cleaner coming out. Do it again. Nice. Oh! Yep, see all the little chunks that were in it? Yep. Building up. Oh, interesting. That's why it's good to make sure you clean out. With an insufficient airflow going through, it gets clogged, and that's why you get a check engine light. Better keep these clean. Alright, now that it's cleaned out, you cleaned out the ports, you just go ahead and put everything back together. Clear your check engine light and see if it comes back.